Hey, welcome to this Windows channel where here I am now with the install of Windows 10 on three of my four PCs. Both my Windows 7 machines, uh, the notifications just told me, hey, install Windows 10, it's ready. And it worked really well. Both of them I've upgraded and I'll be giving you more details in the coming hours because I'm going to use these computers and see if everything that I've upgraded, especially one of my PCs that had a lot of software and very unusual stuff, if it still it works well, if everything seems okay. On my Windows 8.1 machine, the one that I basically is my main computer and the one that I'm making the video with now, I couldn't upgrade. It said it didn't want and when I upgraded, uh, it gave me in the updates, Windows updates, error, cannot uh, install Windows 10, error, blah 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 and it just would go on and on and I had like 15 fails of Windows 10 install in the control panel uh, in the updates. So I figured what can I do to install and this video is to help you guys that are stuck with the same problem. Whatever problem you have first of all let me tell you one thing. We're July 29th. Windows 10 has started rolling out only a few hours ago. So it means that you just have to be patient. That's the first thing. I see a lot of you posting comments and just going crazy and you're not patient. You don't wait enough. A computer is like that. If you want to be a good tech guy, you have to be a patient guy. You have to wait. You have to learn how to handle things and go slowly. So the best thing is wait. Wait a few days uh, and see if it works or not. But here's how I did it if, for some reason, you really want it now or you just don't know what to do because it seems that it's failing all the time. Now, don't ask me what's the key for Windows. There's no key. It is inside the Windows. If you upgrade from your operating system, it will never ask you a key. If your operating system is a legal Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 with Service Pack 1, no keys are required to upgrade at all. So how do you fix a broken install or something that doesn't work? You go to this page and I'll put the link to this page in the video description. Download Windows 10 page. You'll go down and pick first of all the download tool for the correct version of Windows. You are running a Windows 7 or a Windows 8.1 32 bits, then choose the 32 bit tool. You are running an 8.1 or a Windows 7 64 bits, download the 64 bit tool. Very important to follow precisely. Once you download this, run it on your computer. And when you run it, you'll have this that's going to happen. Upgrade PC now. You can try that option. That's the first thing that I tried. But it still gave me a message saying something went wrong. And no more details, just something went wrong. But try that first. If it works, thank God, you'll have Windows 10 in about an hour's time. Maybe less. But if it doesn't, like it didn't for me, use the Create Installation Media for another PC plug in a USB thumb drive or pop in a blank DVD in your drive. Click Next. Once again, be careful. Here you will choose the language of your Windows install that you want. Very important. Once you've chosen your install language, need to choose the correct edition. The correct edition is dependent on your existing Windows. You are running Windows 7 with basic or home premium, then you need to choose home. You've got Windows 7 Ultimate or Windows 7 Professional, you need to choose Pro. Choose the correct version. It's very important. If you have a home version and you go to Pro, you'll be asked for a key and your Windows won't be 
working well and 30 days they're going to stop working because it's not a legitimate it's not a legitimate version of windows so choose your correct version i had windows 8.1 core or just windows 8.1 then i chose windows 10 home because that's what i could upgrade to then i knew my system was a 64 bits so i chose 64 bits for the art architecture then you click next it asks you do you want to have an ISO file that you can burn on a DVD later and it's going to create one or I chose the option just do a USB flash drive and that's what it created it's going to download Windows 10 it's going to create your USB flash drive and once that is done the way I did it, once that is done, I simply went to my USB flash drive. So I, I went to the File Explorer, and on the left side here, I could see my flash drive, which is now called ESD USB, and it had the Windows install files right here. What I did is I clicked on the setup here. And from this setup, I upgraded my machine. It's very important. Don't boot from the USB thumb drive or the DVD. Stay in your operating system. Stay in Windows 7. Stay in Windows 8. And click this. And let it do what you're seeing here. Preparing, preparing. Then you'll have two options. Install Windows 10. Keep all files and folders. Or install Windows 10 erase everything it even has an option to erase only the apps and programs but keep your files and folder so it's very very versatile that's how I installed Windows 10 on my 8.1 machine that you refused to upgrade but once again don't erase everything and uh, just boot from the, the drive and try to do a clean install it doesn't work you have to upgrade from within your operating system from there, what I did is I chose on this machine, erase everything, and upgrade to Windows 10. And that's what it did, basically. So let it do its job, and you will have, in an hour's time, an hour and a half, maybe less, a Windows 10. And here is my Windows 10 install on my new or my old Windows 8.1 machine. So this is really cool because it really, really... Uh, made me happy to see that we can actually install this way. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything about the Windows install and about Windows Disk 10, sorry, a lot of stuff coming up and I will be posting lots of videos in the next hours and days to uh, with the review and the features of Windows 10 and uh, if things go wrong or if I can help you in any way. I'll be posting more videos of the install process if you can't do it. So hope this helps everybody that just can't upgrade and uh, hope you have a good install of Windows 10. Thank you for watching.